Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Revan here and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple number animation in Adobe XD. So this is what we're going to make. If you click here, then the little animation goes up and you can see the number scrolling. It's a pretty easy effect, uh, not much of a design, but just to show the function how to, how to do it. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to delete that one and we're going to get rid of that one I'm gonna make a new artboard of around 400 500 so I that is uh, that should be plenty to work with so it's actually uh, the, the, the design itself is gonna be very simple and easy it's not gonna be about a, a cool design it's just about to be show the function so we're gonna make a rectangle over here a little bit of a rounded corners I'm gonna give it like a, like a greenish light green color yeah it should be fine I'm gonna get rid of the stroke. I'm gonna put it in the center of our artboard. I'm gonna just put some text in there with click here. And we're gonna put that in the middle of our button. Here we go. Alright, so underneath here we're gonna I'm gonna do the numbers. Uh, so how you do that? We're just gonna get a type tool back again. We're gonna do, yeah, just, well, the font doesn't matter. Just we're gonna use with what it says now. And we're just gonna write the numbers underneath each other. So that's how, that's how you do it. And we wanna have four rows. So we're just gonna select that one. We're gonna hold optional alt and drag it to the right. With shift, it stays in the same uh, horizontal line. You can also press command D, but this is the same. And we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna select both of them and we're just gonna copy it. So we've got four of them. Well, uh, we're gonna group them uh, with command. Uh, no, actually not. We're gonna put them in the middle first. Here we go. And now we're going to delete the first zeros, but make sure it doesn't, uh, it doesn't go up. So just keep this. So if, if this happens, oh, wait. So if you have something like that, just press return or enter. So you will have uh, an empty spot over here. Else the animation won't go at the same pace. So that's it. Now we're gonna group it with Command or Control G. We'll make sure it's aligned in the middle. It's aligned in the middle. And the next step will be to make a rectangle. Uh, with a, uh, to make a mask. So we're gonna make a rectangle over here, which is gonna function as a mask. And we're gonna select our group with all the numbers and the mask and, uh, and the rectangle. We're gonna make a mask out of it. You got two options. You go to object and you will go to mask with shape or you press uh, shift, command or control M. So shift, control, shift, M. There you go. And here you go. By the way, the control is for Windows users. So for Mac users, it's Command Shift M, and for Windows users, it's Control Shift M. Just want to be clear of that. So now you only got the zero over here, but all the other numbers are below it. So don't worry about it. We're gonna change the color of the text over here to a white one. It looks better on the green, and we're like already halfway. So this is our normal state. Now we're gonna duplicate the uh, the artboard with Command or Control G, D, sorry D from duplicate, and we're just gonna make some adjustments over here. So first of all, we're going to uh, change the color of the green to a, like a little, little bit of a darker green. Let's put it that way. Yeah, cool. We're gonna change the font from normal from from regular to like bold, and we're just gonna edit the numbers. So if you just uh, double click on the zero, you can see all the other numbers. If you click one more time, you can change the things. But as you can see, it goes everywhere. So you need to hold shift. So press one more time so you can select one of the one of the groups. And you're just gonna drag it up. Uh, what I like to do is I use the line over here as like a, a reference. So we're gonna put four just above it. And we're gonna use the six over here. And we're gonna use nope. Why doesn't get that one? Here we go. I'm gonna get like a three. Yes, and we're going to now. I'm holding shift all the time, by the way. 
it makes it a lot better you know, five here you go so now you're just going to select all of them and drag them to the middle here you go so now you already have the number you want you can choose any one you can even do it with uh, with letters if you want so uh, we're going to group uh, the button and the text and we're going to do the same over here and then we're going to make it uh, two components so we're going to select that one and press command or control k to make a component do the same over here uh, you can also right click and make component if you want and there you go so the last step we need to do is make the animation happen so you're going to click on the button go to prototype and you can see there's like a square coming up if you press the, the arrow key over here and just drag it to this screen, you got uh, a couple of options on the right. Trigger pretty much means what needs to happen for uh, to start the animation. What well, we want to tap, because if you tap on the button, then the animation should start. So that's going to be tap. Type of transition, you can have a couple of options depending on what you want. Uh, you have like sub options, so if you put on transition, you can choose what kind of transition do I want. But we're going for auto animate over here, and we're gonna change actually this one to uh, animated state. It's gonna go back. So if you click on this one, you will go to the animated state uh, artboard. Uh, this is actually a couple of easing, which makes the animation more fluent. It is in, is out. Pretty much means the animation starts really slow, sp uh, speeds up, and then speeds down again. It's like a, it's, it's like a mountain. Yeah, hard to explain. But this is the best one. Is in, is out. And as animation duration, uh, let's do two seconds. And the duration pretty much means how long do you want the animation to happen? All right. So we also want to go back. So now, if you click on this one, you will go to this one. But also, when you click on that one, you want to go back. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna select the button, go to the arrow, and just hold and drag it to the other screen, and with the same settings. And then we're done. If you go to normal state and you press on the previous setting over here, if you click, here you go. And now you have the uh, animation with a number counter. So pretty easy, uh, useful. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment section below. Uh, I try to read every single comment and question and answer it. If I don't know the answer, I will just go look for the answer for you. So hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Cheers. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If not, refresh it, give it another chance. Got questions? Just ask them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.